This video will show you the differences between a major in math and economics and which can make for the better major overall. According to Payscale, the average pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in mathematics is $77,000 and the average reported pay for someone with a bachelor's degree in economics is $72,000. The difference could be due to analyst job roles being more popular among economics majors and software engineering jobs being more popular among math majors, according to the data on Payscale. Analyst roles pay $60,000 a year, whereas software engineering roles pay $90,000 a year. Something to consider is that alternative degrees such as computer science or computer engineering have higher reported average pay at around $86,000. This is likely to be because those majors are a lot more applied towards specific high paying job roles, whereas both math and economics need to be combined with something more applied to be as employable. The Bureau of Labour Statistics predicts that the demand for mathematicians and statisticians will rise by 33% by 2029 compared to 2019. This is mainly due to the surge in data that companies have been receiving in recent years that they need people with mathematical and statistical skills to make sense of. Since mathematics is used in many different fields, a math degree should open you up to many different job opportunities. According to Payscale, the most common reported jobs people with a math degree report having are software engineer, data analyst, data scientist, math teacher, actuary, financial analyst and a data engineer. However, a math degree is a somewhat general degree that is not specific to a certain type of job in the way something such as computer science is to software engineering. If you do end up choosing a math major, this means that you should take courses from the field that you want to enter, do summer internships and to complete projects related to that field as well in order to be competitive when seeking a job. Many math majors go into software engineering after graduation. If you want to qualify for software engineering roles, then it would help to make sure to take a class in data structures and algorithms, since the material from that class gets tested heavily in software engineering interviews. It would also help to try to get some internships as a software engineer while in college, and to complete software engineering projects as an undergrad. The three most common reported jobs for people with a math degree are software engineer, data analyst and data scientist. All three of them involve the use of programming, so it would help to make sure to learn to program regardless. Currently, data science is a very popular career path among math majors, and more roles have been opening up to people with just a bachelor's degree. To qualify for data science jobs, it would help to make sure to learn Python programming, data analysis using the Pandas library, machine learning and to complete data science projects as an undergrad and to try to get data science internships. You might find that your university does not offer classes related to data science or machine learning. In that case it would be necessary for you to self-study using books and websites such as edX, Coursera, Kaggle, DataCamp, FreeCodeCamp and Udemy. You will likely have a hard time finding a job with just a math degree. However, a math degree combined with classes from computer science, data science, machine learning and projects in data science, machine learning and software engineering would be a much more employable combination since all three pay well and have very strong predicted job growth. According to Payscale, with a bachelor's degree in economics, you can expect to qualify for jobs such as data analyst, business analyst, operations manager, financial analyst and an actuarial analyst. A degree in economics will qualify you for many of the same jobs as a degree in math and it will also qualify you for many analyst type job roles. Many of these roles will require the knowledge of programming in languages such as R and Python, 
while doing an economics degree. It would help a lot to make sure to learn how to do data analysis in R and Python. Sometimes R will be taught in an economics degree, but rarely Python, so you will likely need to self-study them. It would also help to complete projects that show that you can make use of R and Python to analyse data. As with math, if you are also interested in data science type roles, an economics degree can prepare you well. But it will be necessary for you to take classes related to machine learning and data science, or at least to self-study them and to complete projects in order to be competitive when seeking data science job roles. When compared with a math degree, an economics degree will usually not be as competitive for data science type roles. This is because an economics degree will have less math and computer science classes. Math majors are also able to take some of the more advanced statistics classes that require more advanced mathematics. Economics can also be a general degree. So getting a job with a bachelor's degree in economics by itself can be difficult, which is why it would help to supplement it with more applied classes towards the jobs that you are interested in. As a math major, you will be taking courses primarily from mathematics. However, you will also have the opportunity to take classes from computer science, physics and statistics. Some classes you can expect to take in your freshman and early sophomore years include single and multivariable calculus, linear algebra, discrete math, introduction to computer science and introduction to physics. In your junior and senior years you can expect to take advanced math classes including differential equations, abstract algebra, real analysis, graph theory, complex analysis, topology and number theory. Depending on your specific program, you might also be able to count classes from other disciplines towards your required core classes. For example, I was able to count a two semester sequence in calculus-based statistics as core classes when I did my math degree. The required classes in an economics major can vary a lot. However, there are some classes that you can expect to take in the major, including micro and macroeconomics, introduction to probability and statistics, econometrics, topics in money and finance, topics in banking, and depending on the programme, you might also be required to take a class in calculus. The math major is generally considered as being one of the hardest undergraduate majors available. It becomes especially hard when you enter your junior and senior years since most of your classes will be proof-based, which tend to be much harder than the more computational classes. If you choose applied math instead of pure math, you will usually have more computational classes, but there will still be some proof-heavy classes as well. A pure math major will have a lot of proof-heavy classes. As a result, applied math tends to be the easier major. I have made another video on my channel about whether or not you should get a degree in applied math versus pure math. The difficulty of an economics degree will depend a lot on the specific programme. Some economics programmes will be more math heavy and focused on statistics and its use in economics, whereas other programmes will not even require calculus and will be more focused on broad economic theory. When compared to a math major, you can expect an economics major to be a lot easier and to require a lot less study time. Graduate level economics tends to be much more mathematical than undergraduate economics. As a result, many graduate economics programs actually prefer math majors over economics majors because of the heavier math used in a math major. If you're interested in going to graduate school for economics, it would help to make sure that you will be taking the necessary math classes. Often you will find that the math in an economics undergraduate major is not enough. 
In both cases, supplementing the major with a more applied minor related to the type of job you are interested in would help a lot. It would also help a lot to try to complete projects related to the job you are interested in and to try to get summer internships while you are an undergrad. If you decide to major in math, it would help to get a minor in computer science, to take classes in statistics, data science and machine learning, and to self-study where needed. It would also likely help to major in applied math if you have the choice. If you decide to major in economics, a minor in computer science would also be an option. However, another option would be to minor in finance since it is also a major that can have good job prospects and can go well with an economics major. When choosing between math and economics, it would help to consider the type of jobs you are interested in. If you are more interested in mathematical job roles, such as in data science, a math major combined with statistics classes and a computer science minor would likely be the better option. Whereas if you are more interested in being an analyst in finance or economics, an economics major with a finance minor would likely be the better option.